Hello Virgo. This is a general reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And welcome. My name is Renee, if you're new. Taurus, we're going to take a look at your current energy and then we're going to go into the tarot. See what's going on with Taurus. Okay, Taurus, what's going on with Taurus? We have, be bold. Don't be afraid to stand out. At the bottom, we have, perform a random act of kindness. So you may be of service to someone, you know, you may be just giving someone a kind gesture. But I feel like it's time for you to step out of your comfort zone, Virgo. It's time for you to step out of your comfort zone and try new things, you know. Go somewhere where you've never been. Uh, do something that you've never done. But I feel like that is what Spirit is trying to lead you to do, is to go out of your comfort zone. Do something new. Okay, we have affirmations for growth. Yes. And we have speak your mind. Okay, at the bottom we have earth magic. So yeah, you may be showing your magic right now, um, Virgo. Earth magic, that's you. Showing your light. Shining your light, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone, um, letting people know what you're really made of, speaking your mind, you know, what is Taurus, I keep calling you Taurus, what does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Miracle. Yeah, I feel like miracles are happening for you, Virgo, and be receptive to the things that are going on in your life. Be receptive to the miracles that may happen. You know, that may happen by you um, speaking your mind, speaking what's in your heart. You may be seeing miracles that way, you know. Let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what tarot has to say about the situation. What do we have for Virgo? What messages do we have for Virgo spirit? What messages do we have for Virgo? The Page of Wands. Okay. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles as your current energy. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. If you know me, you know I've been dropping so many cards lately. It's just, yeah. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay. Virgo. And at the bottom you have the Page of Swords. So I feel like someone's going to deliver some kind of information to you. Maybe that you've been waiting for. Some kind of good news is coming that is opening up the opportunity for you to speak your mind. You know, this may be opening up your curiosity to a new situation that's coming through. Um, This also may have to do with people talking at the moment. Some kind of rumor and gossip situation. We have the lovers. Okay. We have the two of pentacles. The king of cups. the king of swords and the sun 
okay Virgo we also have the magician at the bottom so I feel like a lot of things are creating at the moment I feel like you may get in, be getting visions you may be trying to keep bring something down to earth something that you've been dreaming about something that you've been creating you're trying to bring that down to earth and I feel like you are in this big process of creating this new thing in your life it may be love since you do have the the Queen of Pentacles the King of Cups the King of Swords and the lovers this could be a new passion that you're creating um, but I feel like there's something that you're trying to bring into your reality. There's something that, that you're trying to, you know, turn something in from nothing, you know? You're taking some kind of inspired action to move through this. And I feel like, you know, whatever this was... Maybe you were very passionate about it. Maybe you you were trying this new project. But you know what, Virgo? I feel like someone said something to you some kind of words were spoken that left you doubtful and so this situation ended because of that you may be just going through some kind of ending that was very discouraging because I feel like whatever this is this is the person that you're leaving behind could be male or female but I'm, I'm seeing that you're walking away from a certain situation. Some some situation ended. This may be work. This may be love. But I feel like some situation ended. But you're in this Queen of Pentacles situation that right now. So I feel like you're working on your stability. You want that practical life. You're, you're making those practical goals. You're, you have your heart set on something that you're trying to bring, in, bring to life. And I feel like whatever this is, I feel like you're, you're really cherishing it. It's something that means a lot to you. And I feel like it's something that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. Something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Something that... It's very passionate, very fiery. This could be love, but this could be a project that you're working on. Um, because I feel like whatever this is, I feel like you are putting all your efforts into this situation. You may have to start from scratch for this situation because you may have to leave something behind. So this may be something that you're starting brand new. It may be something that maybe you thought about and now you really want to start off from scratch you know this may be love because you do have the lovers down here on the bottom so it's definitely new love coming in for you and i feel like you're going to have the choice to to make whether you want to um take advantage of this love or not i feel like this is something that you may want to discover this is something that you want to kind of set a priority for and actually it may be two it may be a choice that you have to make because there's two this may be a choice that you need to make between a king of cups or a king of swords the king of cups he's very loving he's very caring he's pouring out his emotions you know um, but he knows how to control his emotions in a way that kind of don't leave him defeated now this king of swords this king of swords is very intellectual he's very thoughtful he knows how to communicate he knows how to say certain things that kind of get your attention and I feel like he's very thoughtful he may also be very trusting and wise 
the King of Swords may be a little bit older than the King of Cups. Because he's got more wisdom. He's got more experience in the situations. But I feel like whatever choice that you make, Virgo, I feel like you're, you're making the choice for you to be happy. You're making the choice for you to be more content. To move into the situation that's going to bring you this fiery, new, passionate beginning. And I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Whichever choice that you make. You know, and... I really feel like you have the choice between two. Now, this could be one person having both these uh, characteristics, but I feel like, yeah, you may need to make a choice between two. There's two people here. Very interesting. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of clarification for this Virgo. Spirit. Give me a message. What is this page of wands? What is this thing that, or a person that Virgo had to leave behind? What is this? The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this was something or someone who kind of left you feeling invaluable. You know, you didn't feel like this person or this it could be work but you didn't feel like they saw you for your worth you know you felt kind of inadequate in this situation tell me about this ten of swords spirit Tell me what had to end. Yeah, we have the the three of cups in reverse. So yeah, I feel like these are people that you had to step away from. This may have been a friendship that you had to step away from because you felt like it left you invaluable. It you you didn't you didn't feel like you were adequate because maybe this person was saying certain things, saying slick things that kind of made you feel like you weren't as good as they were or you know you didn't kind of add up to expectations or whatever um, maybe it's the little slick things that they said but I feel like you had to move away from this person whether it be a friend or a past love um, okay what is this queen of pentacles why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're coming into the truth. You're coming into the truth, uh, Virgo, that you're worthy. That you, as long as you accept yourself, no one else has to accept you. As long as you accept your truth and speak your mind, um, I feel like, you know, no one else matters in the situation. And I feel like you're coming to that realization that... You know, the only truth that matters is your own truth. You know, I feel like that's finally opening up to you that you are a valuable source. You are worthy of whatever you put your mind to. And I feel like, you know, although it may have been a journey for you to go on for you to accept that affirmation, I feel like you're accepting that affirmation that I am worthy. I am worthy of all things. You know, and I feel like that's your miracle that's coming in, that it's opening you up to new opportunities, to a new perspective. What is this Ten of Pentacles spirit? The sun. Yeah, you're finding your happiness. Because you find your truth, you're finding your happiness. And I feel like you kind of lost that for a moment, Virgo. What is this Ace of Wands? The judgment. Yeah, you're finding your passion because you no longer feel judged. This is you being reborn, reborn, finding your life purpose, finding that you are worthy, you are acceptable. You're, you've gained the clarity that you needed to make and you've made the final decision that I am worthy of all things. Write that down in the comments. 
I am worthy of all things. Speak that into your reality because you are worthy, Virgo. You're worthy of miracles. That's why I feel like you had to speak your mind. You had to tell your truth, you know, because you had to let it be known that you are a force to be reckoned with. Someone can't put you down and think that it's okay, you know. You're not going to accept that. You're just going to cut that kind of person out of your life because that person is toxic. That person means no good to you, you know. Tell me about the lovers, spirit. Tell me what this is for Virgo. What is this lovers? The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like someone wants to come in, but they want to come in on your terms. They're willing to wait. They're willing to take things slow, to let things move naturally. Because they see that you may have been hurt in the past. So they, they, they want you to take your time to get your healing, to, you know, move into this new place, into this new journey of love with a healthy heart. You know, what is this choice? The Seven of Cups. Yeah, I, I feel like this person is telling you that you have many choices. You have many opportunities ahead of you. You have, and I feel like that's the reason why we have, you know, the two kings here. Because you have many choices. And I feel like this person wants to be your choice. Which one will it be? Will it be the King of Cups or the King of Swords? Is it going to be love or is it going to be very thoughtful, very intelligent nature that uh, holds your gaze, you know? With the King of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like with this King of Cups energy, I feel like you feel like this King of Cups isn't as loving as they come off to be. I feel like you kind of you kind of doubt this King of Cups intentions. You're kind of fearful of where the situation is going. Tell me about this King of Swords for Virgo. Tell me about this King of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, with the, the King of Swords, this King of Swords wants to, he's willing to work. And I feel like you're seeing them. This may be someone that you meet at work. This may, this may actually be a boss. Um, this may be someone that you work with, but they're in some kind of authority figure. Maybe that's why this King of Swords is coming off as a little older. But I feel like this King of Swords is very intelligent. Um, but you might meet this person at work. And I feel like you enjoy being around this person. What is the sun card? Tell me about the sun, spirit. Tell me about the sun. The queen of swords. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we have the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. So there's a lot of people in this reading. Not, and also we have Wands here as well. Okay. Well, I feel like whatever this is, Virgo, I feel like you need to trust your intuition in the situation. I, I feel like there's going to be secrets that are going to come out. There's going to be some kind of information that's going to lead you in the right direction. I feel like you're going to receive some kind of truth that's going to help you make your decision. That's going to, you know, lessen your opportunities. That's going to kind of dwindle them down. So, kind of like you're making a list. Okay, this person is like this. 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 I feel like you're going to... 
make that list and you're going to come to a decision upon your intuition. <clears throat> and I feel like whatever this is, you're going to make this happen, but you're going to make this happen in your own time. You're going to wait for this to kind of manufacture on its own. Um, you're kind of giving it time to come into reality, you know. Um, but I feel like whatever it is that you want, you're capable of having. And I feel like you have everything that you need in order to make that happen, Virgo. But you're really setting your focus. You're focused on what it is that you want. And I feel like after you receive your answers, you're going to take action. Yeah, whatever action you take is going to bring change. It's going to bring change either good or bad. But it's going to be a big change in your life. I feel like you're following the wheel. Yeah, you have the tower in reverse. So whatever changes this is, I feel like it's going to be in your favor because you have the, the tower in reverse. So I feel like this is going to be changed that isn't set on the universe. This is actually you taking the directive to make the changes. This is something that's not going to be dramatic change. It's something that's going to like flow into what it needs to be. And we also have the King of Cups on the bottom. So it, it may be the King of Cups that you need to take a second look at. Um, because I feel though, although, although you may be fearful or you may be kind of anxious of this King of Cups to, as to what their true intentions are, I feel like this King of Cups may have well intentions. They, you know, may be the ones to take you into this change. And we have the five wands in the full card. Yeah, so I feel you're conflicted. You, you, you know you need the change. You know you need to make a decision, but you're kind of conflicted. You're kind of struggling with whatever decision you need to make. But you are going on this new journey. Whether you know it or not, you are moving into something that's brand new. Something that's going to take you new places. Something that's going to take you on a new journey. You are taking this leap of faith. So I feel like the action that you're taking is pushing you into this fool. It's pushing you back to the beginning. Very interesting. Okay, yeah, we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom. So I feel like whatever this situ whatever decision that you make is going to be fruitful. Whatever decision that you make is going to be the right decision for you, uh, Virgo. Give me a message for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Yeah, so I feel like whatever this situation is, you're going to be growing um, into this. This is something that you're kind of pushing yourself into. You're stepping out of your comfort zone. You're moving into new horizons. And it may be fearful. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yeah, this may be something that, that kind of makes you uncomfortable at first. Because you don't quite know where it's going. But I feel like whatever this is, Virgo, it's going to take you on a journey. Definitely. If this person were to speak to Virgo, what intentions do they have? What intentions do they have? What intentions? We even narrow it down. What intentions for the King of Cups? What are the King of Cups intentions for Virgo? Twin Flame. 
yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So yeah, this king of cups may be your twin flame. And when it comes to the king of swords spirit, tell me the king of swords intentions for Virgo. What is the king of swords intentions for Virgo? What is the king of swords intentions? Passion. Intense chemistry like each other equally having fun. Okay. So we have the king of cups who may be a twin flame and we have the king of swords who you have this intense chemistry and they like having fun. Okay, spirit. Let's get into this. Let's see what messages do we have for Virgo? Spiritual growth. And we have power and intention. So take your power. We also have mother, father, God. So yeah, that spiritual growth, you know, take your power. Take your intention. Um, see where that aligns you, you know. Uh, let's get some more cards for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know in this situation? What does Virgo need to know? Teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Yeah, speak your mind, Virgo. Tell your truth. That's going to awaken your soul. We also have earth connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to earth. Stay grounded. Yeah, Virgo, that, that is your card. You know, Earth Connection. Your Earth sign. Um, at the bottom we have move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Yeah, so be your light. Be your guiding light. You know? Um, shine your light and others will see it. What messages do we have for Virgo? Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Yeah, so you have time to make your decision. You have time to go at your own pace. You know, this is your journey. You are the creator of this journey. So take your time with it. Follow the, the wave, you know. Write it out. Okay, Virgo. Go ahead now and ask your question. If you need to, pause the video. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get into your question now. What does Virgo need to know, Spirit? What is the answer to Virgo's questions? Let go. Let go and go with the flow. A year from now. Okay, and one more card. Spirit, one more card. And take action. So that's what I have for you. You also have communicate clearly. Okay, Virgo, that is your message. So the answer to your question is let go. A year from now. And take action. Okay, if this reading resonates... Please like and subscribe, hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity of your situation. And Virgo, many blessings to you, love and light.